Hello everyone, this is Biles from Biles Craft Creations and today I am bringing another project where we're going to be making embellishments. These embellishments I may use um, in an upcoming project for my, um, oh, my design team project for creative uh, paper art design. But today I'm going to be using this um, Matter, I think the name of this is filigrams, and I'm gonna be using uh, this um bottle caps, and uh, we're gonna be making embellishments, and I'm gonna show you what I did in a minute. Um, these filigrams I received from Panda Hall Select, and they come in different colors. Um, they come in silver. Um, this um, bronze color and gold. Uh, my goodness, this bronze color and then the gold. And um, they, I think, don't remember how many pieces are in this, but I'm gonna leave all the information in the description box in case that you wanna order them. They are lightweight. Um, you can fold this. That you can even cut them in half because they are. Um, like flexible they're sturdy but you can bend them and do different things with this i really love using metal pieces on my projects and um that's what i'm gonna be using today so i'm gonna leave the um the information of the of this i think it's filigrams on the description box and it was very affordable i'm gonna leave the price and everything below and also you get a 10 percent discount if you order this or any other product from panda hole select so i'm gonna leave all the information below my discount code and everything below the um bottle caps i got it at hobby lobby they were in clearance so i don't know if they still have some but you can order that from amazon or maybe um if you check um Panda Hall is, um, select, maybe they have it there. I had to check it out. Um, because this I found in clearance at Hobby Lobby. Um, they are 24 pieces and they come like this, like a bottle cap, you see? But what I did to make them look like this, like flat, you see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see the difference. This is this one is flat, and this one is just like the bottle cup when you take it off from the bottle. You see there, and then these ones are flat. What I did, I used my Big Shot C6 machine, and I put this through my machine. Um, let me get the plates here just a second. Just a second. Oh, my goodness. What I did is I put my bottle cap in between my clear plates, right? And then on these plates, I went to the last one, this one. You see, it had two, one. You take those away and you put it on top of this one. And you put it through your machine and it will make them flat. That's what I did with mine to make it look this like this. I really love how they look. You see how flat they are. I'll try to see if you can, I wanna see if you can see the difference. You see? So that's what I did to flatten my pieces. And then I put images in, inside my bottle cap. Um, they are, I use my, one inch circle punch so you need for the images to go uh, here it has to be one inch and let me show you some of the images this is the paper that i'm going to be using on the next project for creative paper artisan but since i'm talking you know about the things that i got from panda hall i don't want to promote this right now but this is gonna be, um, uh, I'm gonna be using this embellishment on my next project. And then these ones, because I wanna make some vintage, 
I got that from a paper pad that I have. This one, you see? And I cut some of the images. So I got this one, this one. Um, let me see. I think these two came from that paper pad. And then I have another paper that I used in a previous project for creative paper artists, and I think it was the Valentine paper. And she had these couples, um, like it was like false um, stamps. So I cut them, the images that had the couples with my inch punch, uh, uh, circle punch, and that's what I'm gonna be using. And then to make them this shiny, I use my glossy accent, and I'm gonna show you in a minute. If you don't have glossy accent, you can also use triple tick. I haven't used this. I bought this. I can even open it, and I haven't used it, so I wait for someone with stronger hands to open it for me, but it will do the same thing as the glossy accent. It's triple tick. I got this, I think. I ordered it um, from Amazon. If not, I got it at Hobby Lobby from Americana Deco Art Triple Tick. And it will do the same thing as the glossy accent. But since I cannot open this one, I'm using the glossy accent. So for this project, you can use the bottle caps, the filgrims, the images, and your glossy accent, and then your glue. And I also have, um, here I have my, um, like metal pieces to do charms, um, dangles. And because I have an idea for the cover of my project, well, let me show you, let me get it here. This is, let me give you a pic of what I'm going to be using on my next project, but that's coming next after this one so this is gonna be my cover for that project it's gonna go like this and i was thinking to use this on top this is gonna go like this on top of my project and it's gonna be my closure and what i want to do is use some chain that is gonna go connected here on the bottom of this going to the back and connect it here on the top and that's going to be my closure so um that's gonna that's my idea for that cover but this you can use on the cover of your journal you can use on the pages of your journal to embellish other stuff so um their embellishment so i'm gonna call this bottle cup um embellishments and they are gonna be very easy to make this is the one that i did already and I just glue some applique in the back and then under my bottle cap, I put just some like lace scraps. Um, and the next ones, I think that I'm gonna put my bottle cap, my bottle cap on top of this and then all the other stuff underneath because here you can hardly see this metal piece and I want that to be the main focus of the embellishments. So that's what I'm gonna do, but let me show you um, how I did this. And you have to leave this um, drying overnight. So that's why I have some pieces ready here, but I'm gonna show you what I did. Oh, and also before I continue, I wanna apologize because I've been out of action for maybe two, three weeks. Um, I, I have been sick with a very bad flu I thought I was COVID, but I had my um, test done and it was negative. So um, it was like an upper respiratory infection. And I was coughing so, so much that I couldn't talk. Um, ear, uh, I have my ear, a, a pain in my ear and my throat, uh, sore throat. And it was a mess. I, I couldn't record for all that time. I'm behind on all my projects. So you're gonna be um, seeing <laughs> a lot of projects coming, you know, your way. 
um, it depends on how I feel because still coughing. But before I did this tutorial, I drink my medicine. I have my water here. I have everything ready just in case. But that's what happened. So if you miss me, I was sick, very sick with the flu. Uh, well, and the upper respiratory infection, but I just wanted to let you know. So what I did, I just glue my image to my bottle cap. My goodness, I cannot pick this, okay. And you put your image inside. See? That side is perfect to, for you to cut your images one inch. And then you get your glossy accent and you make sure that uh, you don't leave any bubbles. I may need to clean my, let me see if I have my um, glue topper somewhere here. I forgot to put the glue topper that I made for this. Come on, come on. Just a second. I made these glue toppers. Um, This one is salt. No, this one is mine. So I'm just going to put it here. Let me see if I can clean this a little bit. So when you put it on your glue will stay there and you don't have to put the cap and maintain this open here clean let's see uh, you see yes i just forget to put my so it's gonna look cloudy when you put it on top of your image but when it dries it will uh, dry clear so just make sure that you put enough and that you don't have any bubbles if you get bubbles, just use a needle or something and and burst those bubbles. You see? And you just leave it uh, to dry. It's very easy. I usually left them um, dry overnight. Let's do another one. Let's do this couple here. Just move it around so it will get to the edges. And I'm just gonna leave it um, to dry. Let me see, I think I have a bubble here. No. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that dry overnight so I can use on my next project, but that's what I did. So let me put these ones aside. Well, let's do the last one that I have here. I have to flatten more this um, bottle caps. Let's do the last one and let me put these images aside. Make sure that you put enough there. And I just gotta leave them dry overnight. So they will be ready tomorrow for another project. Let me put my glue topper here. Look how pretty. 
I am making them and selling them on my Facebook page. If you are interested, you can leave me a, a message below. Um, so let's work on these ones. I am gonna only use right now the silver ones. Cause I don't, I haven't find the caps or the color. Maybe we can mix. Then I think we can mix. I'm gonna use this bronze and this. Gold. I don't know if I like to use the gold with the silver. Or maybe let's let's just bring one of each here. Let me put them aside here, my little bag. And they came on this beautiful container. I love that. All the products that I got from Panda Home. They came on this um, plastic packaging. Um, let me show you here real quick. Like these beads that I may use, they came on their own container. Same thing with the charms. I got some charms and they came on this in their plastic container. So that's a good thing. I love that from Panda Ho. Select. I may use some of these little dangles, or I don't know how to call it, but on the bottom of my dangles. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but okay. So I have some straps and some um, of this. So just use what you have at home. Let me bring some here. Let me see my white one. So we're gonna use just, just use your scraps like fabric scraps, or you can use some lace scraps. So let's get started. I have some. This is um, cheesecloth. I had different colors. There's black, pink, white, cream. Uh, let's see if I have an applique here that I want to use on this here. has some lace this lace i want to use it underneath of this one so i'm gonna glue this this one underneath because this one i'm gonna use on my cover on that little jar um thing that i show you that's gonna be like a folder mini folder or folio I'm looking for my scissors oh, here they are And since the papers that I'm going to be using have green on, on them and the images, you see, green. Oh, the name of this is Irish Roses, of this paper that I'm going to be using. You see, it's roses and green color. So I want to use this. I should have done this one for the cover. I may change this one instead of using this one. I may change it for the rose since that's the name, Rose Irish Roses of the paper that I'm gonna be using. So this one, I'm just gonna keep to the side for another project. So let's start with this one. So I'm just gonna do like a, how do you call it? Um, my goodness, I'm trying to, oh, a cluster. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to think of, of the word. We're gonna be making like a mini cluster Trying to see if I have an, like an applique. I have pink. Trying to see if I have a white one. I want something like this. Let me see. Let me cut this leaves. This applique I receive um, when I'm in some Facebook group and they do the wishes for the month. I always ask for like fabric scraps or um, lace scraps and things like that 
and all this I have received from those witches. So that's always something good to have. So let's see. Maybe. So I'm gonna do like a mini cluster. And then this is gonna go on top because I wanna try to do this on top of my metal instead of like this one. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me get my um I'm looking for my cheese club, the green one. This is so good. And sorry, I know it should have been ready, but I have cheesecloth, all these beautiful colors. So let's use a piece of this green one. You don't need that much. I'm gonna put that there. So I'm gonna use my glue gun. Um, but maybe I may need to use um something else because this is metal. Um, but let's see. I'm gonna try to glue this down. Sometimes when I have um, metal like this, I use my um, gel medium, but I think it's gonna be fine. Has some glue on my fingers. I, ooh, I burned myself here on this one. Ay, 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 ay. And then this is gonna go on top of this. And I wanna use some sentiments. So I have this and this here. And we're gonna glue this. Make sure that this is glue. Sometimes when you're, do, you're doing metal, you need something strong. I know that you can use a glossy accent too to glue this down. I usually use my um, gel medium and it worked perfect. But right now for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just gonna use my glue on. Um, but if it get um, on glue, then I will glue it down with my gel medium so i'm gonna use this on this side and here in the middle let's, let me do the one that i'm gonna use for for this So this is gonna go here on my cover. And just wanna go around this. 
just to cut a piece of my metal on my chain. I think that's enough there. This um you can um cut it later on, make it more smaller if you need to. I got this chain, I think it was a joint fabric. Hobby Lobby have it, you can find it also on Panda Home, um Amazon. I burned myself there, my goodness. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, so let me get here a jump ring. I, w I was gonna use this closure, I don't know, let's see. Let me get my jump rings. Uh, I think that's for now. gonna need two but I want to oh, I want to use one no I don't like that one I'm gonna grab a couple here so I don't know how many I'm gonna need but and let me grab I'm oh, sorry oh my goodness gonna grab one of these laughter clap. I think that's the name, right? I don't know. I don't know any um, that much about jewelry, but because I had this closure, maybe I can use it here. Let's try that and see. And then this will be attached to the other side of my chain. I'm gonna use this one and see. The filigree have a little hole there. So that's where I'm gonna try to put this thing, my jump rim. And then let me put this here too. So this is gonna be my closure, well, like that. And then I need to Okay, I need to put this side to my chain. I got this uh, a long time ago at Hobby Lobby and I haven't used them, so this is a good time to use them. I was um, browsing around um, Panda Hole website and they have if you are into jewelry making they have a lot of stuff that you can find there at an affordable price so okay so this is gonna go through this and that's gonna be my closure see and then i'm gonna attach this to this side my goodness, I burned myself. It hurts. You see, that's what happened when you are three weeks without be, without crafting, but that's fine. I will put something on it when I'm done. This is gonna go right there. So that's my closure. Let's try it with the thing. I know it's empty right now, so it's hard to, but let me put this there just for now. Let me see. So let's open our closure. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. I love it. Look. So that's going to be the closure for this um, project. But I think I want to add another dangle here on, the, on this side. I don't know. I don't like like just one, but I'm not going to make it right now. But I'm going to add another one to this side here. Because the ones that I have ready, I don't like that much to add it there. Maybe this one with my name. Hmm. I don't know. I will think about something for that side. But I'm gonna add one more thing to this side, another dangle. But I, I love this. You see, you can make a, a, a closure for your journal using this beautiful embellishment that we just did. So we have two here. Let's add a dangle here. This one say fate. I have two that say fate. This one say joy. You know what? This one is their gold, so I'm gonna use that one next with this gold ones. So maybe joy and hope. Two. Let me see what else I have here. I have this red one. Let's use those for now. Oh, I had this blue ready. Let me see where's the one. But this one have green. But I gonna I, we can make a blue one, and that one will go there. So let's see. I gotta leave this one like that for now. But I want to add maybe a sentiment there. Let's see. Too big, right? These ones are too big. I love these ones. I don't know. They are too big for this. So let's check here. I think I have more, but. Oh, yeah. Just looking, make it happen, maybe. What do you think I should put a, I think I want a sentiment, but I don't know where. Make it happen. I think I like this one too. Hope is never lost, but just cut it in half. Let's see. Hope is... I think I'm gonna put it there, but let me distress the edges. Use my archival ink fern green. 
We're gonna do one more embellishment and that will be if you got the idea of how to make them. I should have used my darker green. But that's fine, that one is fine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes it's so difficult to grab this. Let me be careful not to burn myself again. I don't know, I'm looking at my phone and this looks so bright. I don't know if me is my camera. I don't know why it looks so bright here today. Because usually my room is very dark. So that's gonna be the closure. Maybe I should add something to this one. You can use this um, to decorate your pages inside. Maybe um, your, um, the cover of your signature. Or the inside cover of your journal. Um, you can use it anywhere, any of your projects. And then I'm gonna add a jangle there, but let's do this one. This one, I'm not gonna put any words, sentiment, because the dangles already say something. So let's work on this one. Let me get some things out of the way. that we're gonna use anything else here right now. So let me put that away. And let's do this one. For this one, I may go with this lady here. I, I, I wish I can find this water cup. I'm gonna uh, caps on um, different colors. I'm gonna check if I can find them like um, gold and maybe this color, this bronze color. But for now, we're gonna use what we have. my lady here I'm not gonna let it dry I have some silk side here that somebody sent me. Let me cut a piece of this. Wanna see something? No, I don't like that. This is too big. Um, 
Let me see what else do I have here that we can use. These are things that I have received from, you know, the scraps. So let's try to use some different thing here. Maybe some fabric. Just gonna do like a cluster and see if I like it or not. I like that. Let me cut. I want this, this here, it's gonna go there. I like that. Remember, this is an embellishment cluster, so. So let's glue this down. Hopefully I won't over myself again. Everything is glue, but let me add some glue here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I drop it, but I don't know if I should put it one in the middle here and just leave one. I'll do two. Let's see. They're stiff. I don't like what this I bought at Hobby Lobby on Clarence, but I don't like them when they're that stiff. But let's see this one. Just a little bit. So you have to be there, but we can change that. Gonna change the V. Let's 
stay this B out. My goodness. these little dangles here i don't know how this is called but it's like a bulb i don't know why i will show you this little thing so let's use it here it's silver but you know we had the silver silver bottle cap so i'm not gonna be picky We use what we have, right? I think this I just gonna maybe go through the fabric here, the, the lace. Let's see. What do you think? I think I like a better. Let's try both and see what we like. But for here, I think I'm gonna add Um, we have a little bit of glue. Maybe uh, I should put a um, yeah, a jump ring. Let me add a jump ring to the bottom here. some glue there let me see if i can remove it my goodness can i put this through here Going through the lace instead of the um, metal piece. You see, I think I got it. Trying to clean the glue that is there. We're almost done. Just bear with me for a moment. Let me try to remove this glue. Come on, work with me. There, I think I got it now. Yeah, finally, finally. Let me close it. I 
have to close it better, but let's see. I think I like it. I don't know. Maybe this, I don't know. So yeah, sometimes I get me, me, um, kind of picky with my with the things that I'm making. So let's do this directly here. I think I'm gonna like it better. And I think when I, when we're done, I'm gonna change this um, chain to a silver one instead of the gold one. But for now, we're gonna use this one just to finish this. I wanna, I already taking too long making this, so I'm gonna take too long. But look, I think with this one, we can put more. It's just that this one are so, um, stiff like i don't know i don't love i don't like like how they're hanging there uh, they're pretty but i think i i'm gonna take this off and put it um sm like do something different with it i don't know i i like it when it's hanging like this you see like this one it's not stiff this one, I don't know. It just stay like that. So I, I, that's, I, that's what I don't like. So. so let me put this away. You know what, I think, let's try something here real quick and we are done. I have that little rust, but that's not what I'm going to do. Um, let me get this here. Let me get some jump rings here. We're almost done. We're almost done. And sorry, it's just I'm wearing small things like this. Take a little longer for my hands to work with, but we are almost done. Just wanna finish this one. Cause I think with the three dangles, it's gonna look pretty. So we're gonna find out right now. Let 
next time I have to don't forget to not put glue behind my thing on the bottom Just gonna add one more, but later on, I think I'm gonna cut the chains a little shorter. But just to finish this one, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, oh my God, where's my job ring here? So hard for my hands. This one is too long, but we're just gonna leave it like that. I, I want different length, but for now we can leave it like that. I will show her after I'm done with the video. And I want to add something here. Let's say, maybe we can use one of this. I wish I had more of this. You see, this one's I can use with the bronze one. I kind of like that, but trust. I kind of like relief. I don't know if it's too big. I have mixed feelings about it. So what do you think? Why do you recommend something smaller? Trying to find something smaller but meaningful. Make it happen. Be courageous. Maybe that one. Let's see. Let me distress the area and see if I like it.
Yeah, I like that. Let's let's go with it. Ah, oh, my glue gun. Let me get my glue. My glue gun turned off. Just gonna use my regular um This glue um is it work on metal too, so we can use it here. I have to let it dry, dry, dry. Okay. So what do you think? Do you like it? I like it. Then I have this one, this one. This one needs something there. Let me put just something of the ones that I have. It doesn't matter if it's stiff or <laughs> not. Just to have something there. Maybe it is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Then we got a jump rim. And we are done. Yes. I really love this embellishment with, I don't know why, but I love metal pieces of my project. I always try to, when I get, um, I go to Hobby Lobby, I always try to find metal things for my project. Let's jump right there. There you go. Perfect, perfect, I love it. Okay, so that's it for this project. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, please, please, I'm trying to get to the 1,000 subscribers. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends. If you hit that notification bell, you will receive notification every time that I upload a video. Don't forget that this one is going to be a closure for my next project. Like that. I, oh, I forgot to close it here. Let me, let me add it here real quick. Because this is why it's going to open. So let me close this one. And we are done. I think. There. There. So this is gonna be the closure for my project with this there. And I'm gonna add another dangle there, but may do something like this, shorter or maybe longer. But that's it for today. So thank you for watching everyone. And thank you for your patience and your prayer. I know a lot of you were praying for me to get um, better soon. So I'm better. Thank you so much for your support and your prayers. Thank you for watching. I see you in the next tutorial. Happy crafting, everyone.